we are going to the Highgate Manor in Highgate, Vermont. Built in 1818 by Sea Captain S Stephen Keyes, the manor was part of the Underground Railroad with a series of tunnels that led to a local river. In 1870, Dr. Henry Baxter bought the manor and opened his medical practice in the home. Dr. Baxter, Baxter had 10 children and none of them lived past the age of 10 years old. Townspeople suspected Dr. Baxter was experimenting on his own children. After Dr. Baxter died in 1890, the manor was purchased by Philip Schmidt in 1917 and turned into a restaurant, bar, and resort. The manor remained popular through the 40s, but in 1950, a fire destroyed part of the building. Since then, it has changed hands several times and was abandoned for many years until it was recently purchased by a private owner in 2023 for $705,000. Now, let's get into the ghosts. I read an article posted by a local paranormal investigator who had several odd occurrences here. One night, her and her mom were trying to gain access in the abandoned building when they heard a young female say a faint hello from inside, which led them to a basement door that was opened. Once inside, her mom saw a man with a torch outside. Fearing it was the police, they ran outside to find no one there. This investigator has discovered the spirit of a young boy who will intelligently communicate with her through the use of mag lights. Some other experiences she has had was hearing heavy footsteps upstairs, perhaps Dr. Baxter himself, noises of people partying in the basement bar, and the sounds of a large sack being dragged on the tunnel floors. Her name is Emma Elizabeth, and she has many videos posted on her website, so check her out. Is it haunted? Probably. I'll see you guys next time.